This is Louie again, um, giving you an update on what I've been up to. Uh, I'm on vacation from work. This is official now, official vacation. Um, and uh, I've been metal detecting. Now, what I'm going to show you is accumulation of today and a few other days when it comes to the coins and the stuff that I've that aren't coins I found today just so you know um, first thing I found first thing I want to show you are the two quarters they're right there um, this one here is a 1998 that's a 2002 um, I also found a couple of dimes I found these dimes yesterday and today right here uh, I'm not sure what the dates are, I don't remember. And then there's a 1948, I think it is, nickel. I could be wrong. Let's, let me find the camera again here. Come on, focus. It won't focus. See if I can... No, 1978. Okay. And I got a bunch of pennies here. Yeah, but the good news is yesterday I found my first wheat penny. Right there. It's a 1941. Again, if we can only get it to focus. And then turn around today I found another wheat penny just a few feet from where I was found the first one. And this is from the 50s, 1952 as a matter of fact. And I've got a 61 Canadian right here. I think it's 61, yeah. 1961. So I've been kind of on the busy side. Now, I know my channel says look what I found and it's for unusual things. So I'm going to show you this first. I have no idea what this is but it says Miserac um, when I found it this corner here was bent over so I had to open it up to see what it said there's virtually nothing on the back but I thought that was kinda cool I might uh, I think I'm gonna keep that and see what I can do with it to you know for the fun of it and then I found this I, I don't know what it is but it says Primo on it so I'm thinking it's it was used to prime something. I don't know what, but this is all plastic, and I think that screw in there is what made my metal detector pick it up. There's nothing on the back side except bro you know, breakage and dirt. But the most unusual thing I found, and mind you, this is in my front yard. I found a Buick emblem. And that was several inches in there. Um, but the, I've been learning that uh, my front yard is very soft so stuff is sinking down in I remember I uh, at one point found a target was digging pulled the target out and it was still going off and the more I dug the deeper it went um, and I finally found it found my tar another target about eight inches down it was just another nail but there it is so I don't know how long that's been sitting in my yard I don't know anything about it. I actually had to ask the neighbors when they walked by if they, I, if they knew what it was because I remember seeing it before, but I couldn't place it. So there it is. And my neighbors looked at that, and the, the guy said, Oh, that's from a Buick. So there it is. It's from a Buick. I thought it was pretty cool, though. But that's my unusual item for this one. Uh, if you got any comments, questions, go ahead and post them. I'll answer when I see them. Bye now.